when you buy something, when the price goes above the value, you should short it. Basically, either sell it or sell it without owning it, and that way you benefit if the price goes down. If the price is below what it's worth, you should be buying it. Very simple, and that's how you make money. Does anybody want to be successful? Raise your hand. Okay, who didn't raise their hand? Okay, who wants to be successful again? Who really wants to be successful? Show me enthusiasm. Show me enthusiasm. I'm going to pick these two here. No, I'm going to pick these three. Okay? So what's success? Success is, is a word to describe what you have accomplished over the years after hard work. That means that if you work hard over the years, you'll be successful. Yes, sir. So that means that everybody who's worked hard is successful? No. No. Well, in, in, most about, cases. in most cases. most yeah. cases? So if we go back to, say, the 1800s, U.S. slavery, uh -huh. a lot of slaves worked, those slaves worked hard. Okay? Were they successful? In both cases. They were successful in becoming free by um, protesting and fighting for their rights. Oh, that's what I'm Oh, that was um. Oh, we. Buy um. Buy um. Okay, whether they say um or not, I don't want to go through history lesson, but that's not how I, I learned it, and that's how I recall it. My, I'm from South Carolina. Uh, I'm from New York. You from Carolina? <laughs> <laughs> My parents are from South Carolina. We live in slave history. Okay? Slaves work very hard by force. Okay? They weren't successful. So it does take more than hard work. Now you're taught if you work hard, you succeed. It's not necessarily that it works. If you work hard, you're going to do hard work. Basically. Okay. So there's more to it than that. I'm going to get you. I was going to achieve something that was hard work too. Okay, so hard work is all it takes. It's great. Everybody just has to work hard, right? Mm -hmm. Success is when you achieve a, a life setting goal for yourself. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think you see me change back. Good answer, though. Ready? Oh, okay. Still maybe a deficit. That is true. Catch. Okay. So my definition of success is you have a set of goals and you achieve them. Or to pass them, you succeed. Now almost everybody thinks success is related to money. But if money doesn't mean much to you, money didn't mean much to me. You know, I was a full-time father. I was much happier raising my children. They make more money. I could have been a billionaire easily. You know, a lot of guys I went to school with took a different route in the music industry. You even know a lot of them. You know, Puff from P. Diddy now. You heard of him? He's probably a has been now because I'm old. But uh, nobody's heard of Puff P. Diddy? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I know. Yeah. And um, <laughs> that, that whole crew that you know left Howard around him, they went to the music industry. They have a decent amount of money. Um, I would much rather raise children. So having Happy, successful, well-rounded children is success to me. You know, making money was a byproduct of that. You know, and I lost it, not made it. So money is not it to everybody. A lot of people would think that money will bring happiness. Or probably, you know, some people will bring happiness, but I think it's a minority. They're probably chasing the wrong goal. And you can tell because some of them actually make the money and they say, oh, I'm still not happy because they set the wrong goals. But if anybody wants to learn how to make money, I can show you. As a matter of fact, there's an opportunity to make money right now because my son needs people to help him push uh, the reselling app. You have to know about the sneaker reselling market of sneakers. So I know a lot of people with sneaker heads. Anybody know any sneaker heads? Anybody interested? Okay, so you can get my contact info from Miss Alexander and we'll follow up. Okay, you have to be serious. Understand? You have your hand raised. No, I was going to say my definition of success, but you already said it. I said your definition? No, no, because you was asking for a definition, so. So tell us your definition. I was going to say just like, to be happy with yourself, to be financially stable. So what did you say like? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Should we do the push-ups? Yes. Yeah. 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 You guys want to do the push-ups? Wow, 10 minutes? Five seconds, okay. Who else will be pushing these ones? Mary, I'm gonna come show these brothers how to do the pushes. Come on. If she beats your eyes. Come on, Mary. Come on. Come on.
Actually, I'm fairly old. I'm, I look like an older man, right? Me? Yeah. Yeah, right? They should better beat me doing push ups, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Depends on how you're doing. It doesn't matter how you How would you like to do with the beat? I'm almost 50 years old. Y'all should better beat me, right? Okay. 10 push ups. Ready? Go, go, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just got up slower. <laughs> okay, on that note, you cannot be successful if being happy in life means being healthy. So you have to take care of yourself, right? Now, how old are y'all about? 17, 18. 17, 18. 17, 18. When I was 17, 18, I wish some almost 50 year old man would come here, talk trash, challenge me, and beat me doing push ups. Right? Right? <laughs> Any questions for me? Oh, yeah, that's a good, I forgot. We still have some more money in the pot. Damn. Okay. You were talking about the bubble, whereas the brightness will increase and decrease. What I wanted to ask you earlier is how can um, we... You do 20? Okay, after, if I beat you doing 20 push-ups, you have to get pocket. Oh, damn. <laughs> 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 Wait, you don't have to do mine if you beat me. How would we know for sure that the prices would drop back to its original value? Uh, it's math. Oh. Math, simple math. How much is 2 plus 2? 4. Oh. Oh. Okay. Where does 2 plus 2 not equal 4? When it's negative 2 plus 2, it equals 0. But that's what 2 plus 2 was. It's always 4. So when does 2 plus 2 not equal 4? Are you positive? Yes. No. Are you sure? Yes. yes. No. Who's not yes. sure? I'm sure. Yes. Give me a scenario where 2 plus 2 doesn't equal 4. I would have said it negative. No, you said no. 2 plus 2. What's your name? What's your name? Divided by 2. But you said 2 plus 2. What's your name? I'm going to cut the camera off because that's not a good look when you're involved in a 2 plus 2 thing. <laughs> as long as 2 plus 2 equals 4, laws of math are going to remain. You can trust that. So, if this book truly is worth $10 and has established value of $10, one way to establish your value, there are several ways to do it. And this is like high end, higher end finance stuff, more like grad school work. One way to establish your value of this book is called cash flow analysis. Basically, the amount of cash that it fills off and puts in your pocket determines how much it's worth, right? This book right here, Collections, how much money is it putting in my pocket right now? Okay, between now and 10 years from now, how much money would it put in my pocket in terms of income? Okay, wait, wait. I hear zero and about a million. One of you are wrong, so. I don't, I'm not playing, I'm just. That's a lot of million. Okay, explain. Um, because it might not. It might not be worth a lot at the moment. It's going to go up eventually because more kids will need it. Uh, as if we only have it now because it's part of the curriculum. Uh, let, let me cut you off. Cash flow analysis analyzes cash coming out. For example, if you buy a building, you buy an apartment building, a brownstone. You know what brownstones are, right? Yeah. Yeah. You buy a brownstone, has four floors. We break it up, one apartment each floor. You rent these floors out for $2,000 a month. Right. That's eight thousand dollars all together. Your market or your expenses cost you four thousand dollars a month. So every month, right after all the rent is collected and you paid all your bills, you get four thousand dollars a month. At the end of the year, that's forty-eight thousand dollars. So that brownstone, even though it kicks off eight thousand dollars a month after expenses, it gives you forty-eight thousand dollars a year in income. Forty-eight thousand dollars a year, ten years into the future, is how much? How much is it? Four hundred eighty thousand dollars. Four hundred eighty thousand dollars over ten years. 
Now, you're supposed to discount that, but we're not going to go in that math. Basically, you reduce that by the amount of risk you take, but we're not looking at that. We'll just go through raw numbers. So the cash flow over 10 years for that brownstone is $480,000. That's how you value it. Okay, that's what that brownstone would be worth if you just took a very simple um, you know, analysis. You can value it easily using simple math because you just take the money that's in your pocket. Compare that brownstone to this book. The brownstone throws off $480,000 over 10 years. How much cash does this throw off over 10 years? I work three people randomly. The brother in the blue jacket <coughs> reading an article. Well, since you're reading an article, I should give you a pass, right? Okay. Nah. <laughs> How much does this throw off over 10 years in cash? Not sure. Anybody can answer? Show. Tell us. Show us. You just said that if it's a brownstone, you get $4,000.